Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers. Another review today guys, we are looking at the Hyperion class Battlecruiser, which is a remake of the original by JD Hawks. This is part of the IMDC faction, quote unquote. Um, and I think it's a pretty good Battlecruiser and I'm going to talk through why I think that um, and we're going to have a look around the ship in this video today. So, a little bit about the lore here. The creator is High Ground. Um, obviously the original is JD Hawks, who's made a lot of the IMDC ships that you've probably seen on the workshop at some point. The original designed as a missile frigate, the Hyperion class has undergone many changes over its long years of service. However, as time progressed, new ship like AMDC Acula class escorts were set to replace the class and send it to the Boneyard. But before those plans were to be implemented, a group of engineers presented a plan to give the Hyperion class a new lease of life. And those plans have paid dividends, changing the ship from a missile frigate to a battlecruiser. We have improved firepower, advanced fire control system, improved armour, improved hybrid thruster pack, a hangar, crew facilities and an improved combat radar. We've got various information about its armaments here, so we've got four artillery turrets, six assault turrets, four gatling turrets and four forward facing fixed railguns. Uh, various scripts used on this ship. I have also spawned in the Type 3 shuttle, which is uh, in the screenshots used as a bit of a transport, uh, which can go in the hangar bay down there on the uh, on the ventral side. So let's have a look at the outside. I'm going to start off with the obvious. I would argue this is not um, a battle cruiser. Um, I would argue this is probably a destroyer. Uh, I don't think it's actually big enough. To, I mean, obviously they, they can class it as what whatever they like. Um, and everyone's going to get very angry at me in the comments section. I technically think this is... Shut up. I think this is a destroyer. We've got super firing, forward firepower, pretty light armour. We've, I mean, we've got four railguns in the front, for fuck's sake. This is, in my books, uh, almost an out-and-out -out destroyer. The one thing that separates it is we've got quite a lot of point defence. Um, we do have like these assault cannon turrets, which are good against sort of gunship-sized vessels. And then we do have those Gatling turrets as well. I think it could be like a, a, a small battle cruiser. It's certainly got the speed to be a battle cruiser, um, but I would normally say that they're a bit bigger than this. I'd say you're probably looking at slightly uh, sort of cruiser size, really, uh, with very heavy armament for ship-to-ship -ship warfare, like capital grade armaments. So, but for this faction, you know, if this guy, if he wants to call it about cruiser, I always say it's about cruiser. So we're not going to argue about that. That's just my take. Um, so having a look around the outside, obviously we've got the uh, the standard IMDC colorings, um, a hybrid thruster package indeed. Got a bit of a separate nacelle at the back here for the hydrogen thruster package, um, which is, I think the original didn't have this aft section. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was just this forward section like that. We've got, uh, we've actually got navigation lights on this. Got these clusters of weaponry here, which can fire over the Gatling turrets, and like, like I said, these are super firing as well, which is really good. Business end, very very nice. Protected camera buried in there as well, and we've got use of these armor panels for striping as well. Got some heat vents dotted around. Got these antenna structure arrays. Not sure how much I like them, if I'm being brutally honest. Uh, we've got these nacelles on either side here as well. Small bridge, quite well protected. There is a CIC in this as well, so that's fine. And then we've got the class name outlined on the bow there. So it's just a very streamlined, it's just a, a nice... A nice looking ship. You know, it's nothing overly impressive, but it's a nice shape, good detail on it, and I think everything fits quite nicely into it. Like, it doesn't look like there's too many guns, for instance, or too many thrusters. I think everything's built in quite nicely and incorporated well into de the design. The, um, the aft nacelle does look a bit tacked on. Definitely could have built this in. I would have probably made it like thick blocks like here, filled in these gaps a little bit in, and made like a, like almost like a diamond, like a sort of very lightly similar to a Venator. 
Got a pad here. There's somewhat blinking lights. Alright, let's have a little look around. Uh, we're going to go through the hangar. So on the ventral side here, we do have a hangar. Got a hangar control. There is no connector in here, but that's absolutely fine. Um, you can obviously dock, drop off your uh, your stuff over there. So that's that. that don't mind that. Um, it would have been quite difficult to get this piped in as well. Got some light panels on the top up there. Battery bank. Nice outline of the uh, the landing area with these yellow armor panels. Some storage crates. Nice use of the bay windows as well. So we'll head up the stairs here. Through the airlock. Lockers. And then we've got a bit of a uh, hangar overview. Heading up. We've got some access to the reactors actually. Passageway. And then we can come into the CIC. Got a simple floor plan laid out over there on the port side. Also on this console block. And then we've got various LCDs going on here. Loads of readouts. Got medical bay right here, which is very useful, so you can top up as you're fighting. We're going to go back to the starboard side first, and we've got reactors down here. Access to a few more of the ship systems, CO2 generator, oxygen tank, hydrogen tank, with that engineering orange glow. And then we've got the same over here on the port side. But without the orange glow, this time it's white. So if we head towards the bow, obviously we've got cryopods in here, down these stairs here we come into a little ladder shaft, we've got a server room, we've got various programmable blocks here, cargo access which is always useful, if we head up we have another server room, more cargo access, and if we head down, we've got crew, oh, oops, we have crew quarters through here, Again, with that cargo access. So th this is really nice. If you just need to jump into the inventory to grab something or what have you, you can do that straight away. Um, and then here we've just got a simple, got a bathroom set up, bed. I mean, it's pretty much all you need, really. So if we head back up, towards the aft again, we're going to come in to the stairwell. If we head up, this will take us to the bridge. More floor plans, we've got an elevated flight seat there, and some more control seats dotted around. Radar script, and we do have an airlock back here. I always say this is extremely useful to have, it's quite hidden as well. But if you need to get into a uh, into the flight seat in a pinch. This is a, a good way to do it. And then if we go through here, we've got more crew quarters down at the nose of the ship. And then the same setup with the bathroom, cargo access. So it's a very lovely ship, very nice and compact. Head up here and into the control seat. And if we jump in this, we can see that it, it turns quite slow, um, but it is, sort of for, for a warship of this size, it is pretty nippy. Um, up and down, leave a lot to be desired. Side to side is pretty decent. And then forwards and backwards is also pretty decent as well. Not backwards, just forwards. <laughs> but we do have four railguns. So that always helps. We've got quite a protected camera down here. It's very, very annoying uh, when your camera gets destroyed. But overall, it's a it's a very nice. I think it's just a quick, great example uh, of a of a warship here. It's well done. Its armament's good. Thoughtful uh, armor layout. Thoughtful interior. Just gets the job done. You know what I mean? It's like the it's like the T thirty four of of warships. It just, it just gets the job done. Um, and I think there's a lot we can take away from this. 
In terms of uh, what I'd change and like any like pointers that I could. Oh, actually, I'll just show you quickly around this shot all over here because it's quite cool. This is the Type 3. I'll, uh, I'll link it in the description as well. You can carry some engineers in here. You've got a little survival kit. A nice custom cockpit. Weapon racks on the ceiling. Couple of Gatlin turrets. And this thing can fly in atmosphere as well. I'm pretty sure. Got a solar panel. Really nice little shawl. Very neat. I like this one. It's really cool. Yeah, uh, in terms of pointers, I'd build, like I said before, I'd build in the, the, the superstructure back here because it kind of looks like it's dragging a ship or something. I don't know. It looks like it's towing something. Um, how I would do that, I mean, I would literally just, I'd be tempted to just like. Is symmetry on? No, no, whatever. Symmetry's not on. I'd be tempted to literally do something like this. I know you've got thrusters there, but just pretend you don't. Have I got the right toolbar layout? I'd be tempted to do something like that, but on both sides. Just so it looks a bit better. Just absolutely bastardizing your ship here. Oh. Yeah, I'd be tempted to do something like that. I think that just looks way better. Um, and then, with regards to these, uh, the, 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 these don't work for me. <laughs> they really don't work for me. I can, I can see how they could, but I think they, they just look a bit goofy. Um, particularly in like how far um, they, they, they stick out, to be honest with you. So I'd maybe bring them down a block, to be honest, or do something else for, for antennas entirely. Um, other than that, the, the, the exterior is really lovely, very simple. Um, the interior is, again, very simple, very lovely. I think, you know, th there's no need to go overboard with the detail and the greeble on this. Um, so, yeah, lovely ship. Go and check it out in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. And as always, take care, everybody.